Imagine if you were blind. Complete darkness. No colors, no views, no beauty, just pitch black. If you were blind, ask yourself how badly you'd want to see. If pushing yourself to your limits could give you sight, would you do it? If there was a cure, would you let anything stand in your way? Would you risk the haters and the critics to see again? Do you really want to succeed? Would you really care if they mocked you, laughed at you, pointed at you, or badmouthed you? Would you be concerned about your extreme goal or just embrace the extreme work? What if you had to learn hurt, trust pain, and embrace struggle? Would you still be concerned with being realistic? Would you still figure your odds and calculate your chances? If you had to spend more time planning your workouts and less time planning your weekends, would it even be a tough choice? If the cure for blindness was humility and pain, would you go for it? If the cure for blindness was looking foolish, would you risk it? If seeing again took a fight, would you start swinging? If the cure was doing things you can't do, would you attempt them? If a few extra hours, a few more drops of sweat, and a little bit more blood was all it took, would you claim your sight? Do you really want to succeed? Then choose to be blind and do whatever it takes to see. Because if you don't, then you're just blind anyway. Are you committed? Because without commitment, nothing happens. If you don't learn to give like you learn to get every area that there is not reciprocity, it will die. reciprocity what do you give back for what you get if you're not committed you're not gonna make it even the ones with the personalities you don't like you have to be committed through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment you have to believe in the we and the us and not the me and the you or you're not going to make it. It's a commitment. It's not a feeling. Until you have had the taste of finishing, 
you will not respect yourself until you follow through until something is done come hell or high water tears and struggles and pain and you go through it anyway and you show up and you continue to fight on no matter the circumstances after a while something begins to wither inside of you anytime you need something that you can't give to yourself you're at the mercy of somebody else and when they don't come through you got pain and what you become is the consequences of what you didn't get it's an urge it's an urge truth be told every champion has felt it every president has felt it every king has felt it every lion has felt it every winner has felt it every soldier has felt it every victorious person has felt it the urge to quit don't you give up on your dream i don't care if you don't have the money you don't have the help and you don't have the family for it and you don't have the background for it and you don't have the friends for it, don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much. But don't you quit. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. What do you want? Because if you don't know what you want and you're watching me, nothing else matters. But when you know what you want, E, why do you wake up at three? Because I know what I want. Look, 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 you, you eat however you want to eat. You, you, you do whatever you want to do, right? When you don't know what you want, when you're not clear on what you want, like you, you, you get up whenever you feel like it. You don't have no drive. You don't have no passion. And so when people ask me, E, where your passion come from? Where your drive come from? I know what I want. Every single day I wake up, boom, and I go pursue it every single day. The difference is not one thing, it's everything. The difference lies in my desire. The difference is in my relentless work ethic. It's in my sacrifice, in my dreams. Dreams so big, they scare small minds. The greatest dreams are always called unrealistic by those with no ambition. The difference lies in the extra little details, the extra mile, the extra rep, the extra set, the extra hour of work, the extra whatever it takes to get where I belong. The difference lies in my sacrifice. Others won't sacrifice like me. They aren't sacrificing their precious time for a future payoff. They are growing, learning, and pushing forward like me. And that is the difference. I don't care what opinions the world has for my safe little future. I do what I believe is best for me. The difference lies in my response to failure. I know most will give up. I know most will cave in. I know most won't stick it out, but I do. And that is the difference. Success is what comes after you have survived all your failures. 
You have to fight through the bad days so you can earn the best days of your life. Success is what happens when you stick it out, grind it out, and show the character of a winner, the character of a champion. The difference lies in my attitude. I know most just want to get through, get through the day, get through this task, get through this job. It doesn't matter what I do. I do it to the best of my ability. I do it with pride, knowing that nothing goes unnoticed. The man who does more than he is paid will always be paid for more than he does. The difference is in my wanting it more. The difference is in my willingness to risk it all for a dream only I can see. I know most will hesitate. Most will toss and turn, fumble and fall, but not me. I'm all in. If I am in, I'm all in. Every time, 100%. The greatest risk in life is not taking any risk. I know that is the truth, and that is the difference. The difference lies in my persistence. I know most will plant their seed, then give up moments before the seed grows into greatness. I don't give up. I never give up, and that is the difference. The difference lies in my work. The difference lies in my grind. I'm not afraid of work. I'm not afraid of putting in the hours, because I know each hour, each quality working minute is bringing me one step closer to my dream, one step closer to greatness. I will work. I will work some more, and I will win. The difference lies in my vision. They will always say it is impossible until it is done. I will make certain I get the job done. The difference isn't only one thing, it's everything. Do you believe in yourself? The man without self-reliance and an iron will is the plaything of chance, the puppet of his environment, the slave of circumstances. Are not doubts the greatest of enemies? If you would succeed up to the limit of your possibilities, must you not constantly hold to the belief that you are success organized, that you will be successful no matter what opposes? You are never to allow a shadow of doubt to enter your mind. Considering that we have to spend the whole of our lives in this human machine, considering that it is our sole means of contact and compromise with the rest of the world, we really do devote to it very little attention. The expression of the soul by means of the brain and body is what we call the art of living. <laughs>